In part 1 of this video, we started setting up distance problems. Now we're ready to go back and solve the problems we set up. We set up this equation when a man was riding his bike to a park. Let's take a look at solving the equation now by identifying the least common denominator. We know that rate times rate minus 2 is our common denominator, and so we will multiply each factor by r, r minus 2. When we do so, we should be able to divide out the r's to get 60 times r minus 2, plus 1r times r minus 2, and with the r minus 2's dividing out, it gives us 60r. We can continue solving by distributing through parentheses to get 60r minus 120 plus r squared minus 2r equals 60r. As we continue to solve, you may notice we have 60r on both sides of the equation. This is nice, as when we subtract 60r from both sides, they'll subtract out completely. Putting this equation in order, we get r squared minus 2r minus 120 equals 0. We can now solve this by either the quadratic formula, completing the square, or factoring. Let's factor this equation to r minus 12 times r plus 10 equals 0. To get our solutions, we set each factor equal to 0. r minus 12 equals 0, and r plus 10 equals 0. We can quickly solve by adding 12 to find out that r equals 12, or subtracting 10 to find out that r is negative 10. As you remember, this rate is how fast the man rode his bike to the park. We couldn't ride at a negative rate, and so we can cross off the negative 10. The only rate that makes sense is he rode at 12 miles per hour. Let's take a look at that second problem we set up. We had a woman driving through a construction zone who found out that she, if she had driven faster, she would have arrived sooner. We came up with this equation, so let's try and solve this equation in order to find out how fast she actually drove. The least common denominator here is r times r plus 6. So we will multiply each factor by r, r plus 6 r, r plus 6, and r, r plus 6. This allows us to reduce the r's to get 45 times r plus 6, minus 2r times r plus 6, and with the r plus 6's dividing out, we get 45r. We can continue solving by distributing through the parentheses. We get 45r, plus 270, minus 2r squared, minus 12r, equals 45r. You may notice that we have 45r on both sides of the equation again. This is nice, because we can simply subtract 45r from both sides for them to subtract out. We now have negative 2r squared, minus 12r, plus 270, equals 0. We're ready to start solving by factoring. Factoring might be a little difficult with this problem, so how about we complete the square? Let's subtract 270, separating the variables from the exponents, and sorry, the variables from the numbers. This gives us negative 2r squared, minus 12r, equals negative 270. Next, we divide by a the negative 2. This gives us r squared plus 6r equals 135. To complete the square, we need c to be 1 half of b squared. Half of 6 is 3, squared is 9, and so we'll add 9 to both sides to give us r plus 3 squared equals 144. Taking the square roots of both sides, we get r plus 3, equals plus or minus 12. We don't really need the minus, as we need to have a positive answer. Subtracting 3 gives us her rate of 9 miles per hour.